Dunbar is still not eating and is not doing well. But in order for him to get back on track, he needs his third dart. But this time, it's a challenge. I'm having to chase Dunbar all over the pasture just to get that last dart inning. We gotta get our baby boy back on Dad track. Gum it. Welcome back to Bison Ranching. Next move, we gotta get some poop samples. Hey guys, welcome back. This is day two of treatment of Dunbar. I have our new medication, Avamec Plus. I was told to get my doc. I didn't have this yesterday. I had LA 300 and I had Sodectin. Uh, Sodectin is a Dean Warmer. Uh, LA 300 is an antibiotic that you can get over the counter. Here is a, another dewormer. Uh, we'll hopefully attack some different parasites in the gut. So I've got that got my dart gun got my other darts uh, I went ahead and got a bag uh, that we've got stocked up of a Redmond 90 or Bison 90 selenium that we use try that I got him a little bit of feed I got him some oats and then it's our DNH blend that we feed uh, a lot of our bison and stuff and our feeder animals so flying solo right now I'm gonna go over there dart him take a look at him my mom was out there earlier uh, trying to give him some water I think he's drinking water but again Day two, Dunbar is not eating cubes again. My mom tried to give him cubes and stuff. So I'm gonna go over there, see what we can do and take a look at him. So guys, follow us along. We're gonna head over there and see our boy we got Maya with. So ranch dog, here we go. Hey y'all. He's laying down over there in the same spot he was. Yesterday, Marissa and Brooks and I came over. I'm gonna use the 3C's feeder to get them some cubes real quick. I just put out some Redmond 90. Buy some minimal. I'm gonna get these. Cubes and get them distracted real quick. This is my little remote here is awesome. Tells me how much I'm putting out. Let's go check him now. Got them distracted. All right, so I don't wanna dart him yet. Got our Avermec Plus. I brought him some feed. And now this is a long shot and I shouldn't get up this close to him. But my mom brought him some water down here earlier today. I guess he was laying down here. She said she he drank out of it and then he went he went over to his water. Oh he got up. I'm gonna see if I can pour some of this out for him. I've got oats in this and um, our four-way blend mix. I'm gonna set this down and walk over there and see if he'll. not even entertaining to him. He probably knows that um, he associates my truck and me with the dart gun, so he's not super stoked about it, as you can tell. Didn't pay any attention to that feed, and I know that's like a pound or two I just poured on the ground. Wanted to see his reaction, mostly. It's not a lot of feed, I just wanted to see if he was interested in it. And he is obviously not, um, so, that's day two of him not eating that we know of. He's probably gonna go down there and get some water, but I gotta get this other dart in him. At least he's drinking water. That's the main thing uh, that we'll take that. The fact that he's not eating and we're in breeding season is not good. 
it sounds like to me the parasites have must got him but i've never i just i don't understand i've 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 seen him a little bit thinner before from parasites um but i've never seen him act like this okay i got an idea here i've uh I don't have any Ziploc bags with me, but um, he's been laying down here in this area quite a bit. And I see some poop around here that uh, I saw him poop yesterday. And it was not like a normal patty. This is a normal patty, like nice round patty with a little dip at the top. Okay, that seems normal. But I see some other runny stuff around here, and I know we're talking poop, but this is important. I know some of you are like, Dusty, why are we looking at poop? It is very important when it comes to this. Now, we've never done this before, and I see some more freshness. I've got this little bag I found in my truck. I'm going to take some samples of this loose um, fecal matter poop. I th I'm almost 99% sure it's his. He's going down and turning around now, going around the shade tree to get away from me. Um, I'm going to take some samples and we're going to send it off. So, uh, next move, we got to get some poop samples. And hopefully what happens with these samples is it'll tell us what parasite is in his poop. We can send it to Oklahoma State, I know for sure. And, uh, we can see what's in it, what's going on with him and see what parasites he has. If that's the issue. Real farming right there, guys poop sample from a bison bull right uh where to put it now uh, i need to put it in another bag but hopefully that's enough now we gotta dart him real quick So we got our Avamec Plus. We're going to inject it here. You have to have a special needle to do this. All right. We're loaded and ready. He's moving, so we're going to drive over there to him. Buddy, I'm here to just help you. Promise. I'm sorry. You were perked up a little. Hey, buddy. It bounced off of him. That gummit. I watched it hit him and bounce right off of him. That must have hit a leg bone. I even see some of the fluid come out. That means this dart is wasted. I saw the dewormer come out. We're going to have to try again. That gummit that stinks. 
hate doing this to him. These other guys are like, what's going on? I'm gonna go ahead and stay, get set back here. Cause I don't think it gave him the full injection. I saw it, I saw it like squirting out. So I might have to draw 10 more cc's in a new dart. That's the first time that that's happened to me ever. Not sure what that's about. So I'm gonna have to draw 10 more. pump it now instead of getting over there and running him off a little more. Last time I did six pumps, that was about 25 yards. Seven. Nine. Okay, we're going nine that time. This is not fun at all doing this to him but here's the deal i'll tell you this on my way over there well, i'm a little close to you but here's the deal so either i have to run him up to the pin um run him through a squeeze shoot squeeze him down and vaccinate him we could have done that um or we can come out in the pasture push him a little bit try to keep the stress down some um that's why we use the dart gun it beats running him up there getting him all worked up around those other bulls and stuff and so that's why i like to use the dart gun you don't have to run them all the way up to the squeeze chute because that stresses them out that's why we only do that once or twice a year um but the dart gun can kind of replace that and uh he's not happy with me right now i, I don't blame him that dart literally hit his hip, bounced off, and when that hit the ground, I saw it shooting the dewormer everywhere. So it may have got uh, hard, nothing in him. So I'm gonna go over here. He's going back to his shade, but he's gonna put me in a hard spot because the woods are between me and him. I have to jump kind of in between the woods. I really like to get him on the other hip but I must have hit him. I must have not pumped it hard enough, but yesterday I hit him with six and it was enough. Let's see if I can get him this way. I'm just wanting to be closer to him. Something's up. I don't know what it is, but something's up with these darts. Second one. What the heck? What in the world is going on? That's the second time. It just hit them and fell right back out. I think, I don't know if that one, you can usually tell if they're empty by shaking them like that. I don't know what to do now. So I feel like I've shot Quite a few darts since I've been a boss rancher, or at least this past year, probably 20 plus darts. And I've shot two at him in two different areas on the hip. And yesterday was no issue. I came and shot him twice. Once with a 10cc dart and another 10cc dart on the other hip, two different shots. Shot him twice today 
and both of these darts have bounced off of him. I don't know if it's a dart malfunction or I'm just happen to hit him in two tight spots where it's just bouncing off and I feel terrible right now, but I'd rather do this than run him up there and work him. He needs, I just, I'd rather do, it shouldn't have been like this basically. It's a less, it's a less of a stress, low stress situation when you use a dart gun instead of pushing him and, or loading him up, taking him to the vet. That's what I, I don't want to have to do that. But, and these are, these are the doc's recommendations. But this time I'm going to shoot him on his own right hip this time. I've never had that happen. I'm sorry, buddy. I was just getting exposing myself too far. He's walking away from me. Got him that time. Stuck. Stuck that time. He ran pretty hard from me. I couldn't get it. I, uh, I had to walk out there a little further than I wanted to. He's never endangered me. That's the main part is it stuck to him this time, which is good. That's what I wanted, so. I'm gonna leave him alone now. It's on his right hip and it's still in there. That's what we needed. It was important to get that in him. So important. There it is. Hey guys, it's back to school season and in honor of a back to school year and being a teacher and coach for 10 years, Marissa and I are giving you 15% off anything in our store, only at Cross Timbers Bison. Yep, 15% off anything. That includes our special bison meat boxes, our merchandise, jerky, and snack sticks. All on our website at crosstimmersbison.com, the only place you can get those products. Use the code back to school right here can scan the QR code, get you straight to Cross Timbers Bison, and don't forget to use the promo code back to school. Limited time only. All right, just got back to the Ponderosa, and uh, what are you guys doing? Hooligans, Bullet, and Jack here, buddies. There's Brooks. <laughs> um, okay, well, those darts. Never had this issue before. Uh, where are those two darts at? Two darts, both. And then I, the third one was the same brand, everything. New dart goes in the new dart gun. I wouldn't recommend using any other darts. That new dart, it's P-N-E-U dart. That's the brand. Um, I, maybe I was just hitting him in the wrong place. I don't know what the situation was, but finally got it in him, got it to stick. Um, that Really having that many um, darts, I have to give compliments to my friends. 
hooked me up basically one works at uh sulfur farm and ranch and the other one works at stillwater mill and davis and they both look out for me so when those 10 cc darts come in they're a hot commodity and there was a shortage if you knew uh was watching us last year there was a shortage of them they're hard to get but 10 cc means about a thousand pound animal you can get dewormer and different stuff in them but uh finally got it to stick um anyways that's all that matters so three darts and 30 milliliters later but um our day is not over we've been uh working on marissa and i've been working on hot wire and it's been kind of a pain in the butt but i kind of have a plan on uh, we're just gonna skip pasture three we're either gonna have to go through pasture three but we're gonna bring them all the way up to pasture two which is right up here in the front right along the road here so that's the next thing we're doing we'll see you guys soon thank you for watching ranch with us